Hello, I'm Neil Emery and I'm here today to talk to you about the effective use of digital signage in education with Trilby TV. And what do I mean by digital signage? Well, historically it's the screen in your school or college reception, but technically it's any screen that can share and showcase. Over the last 10 years of working with education, we've certainly seen our fair amount of screens that have been turned off. So our passion is making sure that those screens are turned back on and made impactful. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up Trilby TV to turn your screens back on and get them showing fantastic content. I am utilising a C-Touch screen for my player, which is running Android. And to let you know, we have apps available for iOS, tvOS, macOS, Windows, Chrome and again Android. Utilising uh, the interface for Trilby TV, I'm using our iPad app. So as well as being web-based, we have an iPad app that can control, upload content and manage your players. So to add the code that we get when we download our instance of the Trilby TV player, I simply go to our player dashboard, add player and pop in the code. I give it a name, so I'll call this C-Touch and I simply add player. That will check in with our servers every minute to link that player and then when I add content or make changes again that will check in, make those changes and download to the player. To start with, thinking about my audience, I need to add a simple welcome screen. And I'm going to do that using our title screen, which is simply an image and a little bit of text. So in the title, I'll simply add my text. And then I'll choose an image from my camera roll. Now once this is added, I simply press add before moderating my content and saving it. So I need to approve and simply save it for it to be added to Trilby TV. All of our content needs moderation and users can be set up with different moderation rights at different levels. <clears throat> Now we are big Twitter users to promote what we are doing at Trilby TV. A lot of our schools and colleges also utilise Twitter. So it's a great way to keep your screens up to date. Adding a Twitter feed is very simple. You simply add in the username before again adding, moderating and saving. Now I can change the setting of my Twitter feed so I can show more tweets if I tweet a lot, show less if I show less. I can color code my background, link text and main text. And I can also have a start and end date. So for example, if it's Science Week, I could start that uh, NASA, for example, Twitter feed at the start of a Monday and delete it at the end on a Friday. But again, Twitter is a really nice and simple way to keep your screens up to date. You don't update Trilby TV, you simply tweet and they will be kept up to date nicely. Other options we have, we have video uh, up to 4K, we can add to Trilby TV. Also can add a slideshow, so up to 24 images per slideshow, as many slideshows as you want. Again, give it a title. Press your plus to access my camera roll again. Choose your images, press done, and press add. Again, these will be added to your Trilby TV before again, moderation and save, and they will be added and played on our screen. So some really simple ways to get content very quickly up and running on your screens. And you will all have content ready to go, I'm sure. Another really nice lightweight mechanism to keep your screens up to date is using our web content. And specifically here, I'm gonna use a Google Slides presentation. Now, Google Slides, like PowerPoint for Microsoft, or like 
Keynote for Apple is a presentation tool. So here I have a set of mindfulness slides that I'd like to add to my Trilby TV. And what I need to do here is simply choose our web content, paste in the web embed from Google Slides, and add it. Now the nice thing about this is again, you don't update Trilby TV, you simply update your Google Slides for those changes to be made instantly on your digital signage. So very quickly, you can see how I added the code. I linked the screen. I added a title slide. I added a Twitter feed. I added some images, and I've added a Google Slides presentation. So Trilby TV can be very much set up in less than five minutes. If you're interested in knowing more about Trilby TV, then please visit our website at www.trilbytv.co.uk. Add forward slash and trial, and we'll happily come out to visit you and install a Trilby TV trial with Android Player device, and you can have a go for 30 days. Or if you've got something already that can use iOS, macOS, tvOS, Windows, Android, or Chrome, then have a go yourself. I hope this presentation has been useful. Thank you very much. Thank you.